Today's a landmark day in the coronavirus pandemic. Every state is now in the process of reopening, but that's not stopping protesters from demanding more action from their local governments. And with the holiday weekend fast approaching, Americans are now planning trips to parks and beaches. ABC's Megan Tavrizian reports. This morning, all 50 states finally entering some phase of reopening. Long lines forming at this DMV in Minnesota after weeks of being closed. People anxious to renew their license. I figured I'd come about an hour before and get in line. Even as more restrictions are lifted, new protests erupting. In Connecticut, the final state to begin reopening, salon owners outraged after learning they're not included in today's phase one plan. The rug got pulled out from underneath us. In New Jersey, this gym goer arrested. A group of officers handcuffing him amid a crowd of angry protesters. The gym owner fined for ignoring lockdown rules. Multiple gyms in Washington state now facing a similar fate after owners reopened against state orders. Do business. Get with it. Out of 21 states that eased restrictions at least two weeks ago, there have been no major reported changes in the hospitalization rate or COVID-19 deaths. But a new CDC study is highlighting the risk as states reopen, tracing a cluster of infections in Arkansas to a single church. More than a third of the 92 people who attended got sick. Three people died. In New York City, this video shows the ultraviolet light now being used to clean subways and buses so workers can get back to commuting. Authorities spending $1 million on special devices, hoping the light will kill bacteria and stop the coronavirus in its tracks. It is like a ghost town. In Las Vegas, amid fears the city's unemployment rate could hit 30 percent, major hotels are accepting reservations. MGM and the Venetian accepting bookings starting June 1st, even though they have not yet received approval to reopen. Gaming establishments will not, will not reopen in phase one. But national parks like Joshua Tree are now unlocking their gates. We're inviting the world back in. People who live nearby are worried about the crowds. They're going to go in our stores and we still have to go shopping and live. Similar frustration in Colorado. This video from a creek in Boulder shows people sitting shoulder to shoulder despite orders banning groups larger than 10. In hard hit New York State, the governor announced similar guidelines for the upcoming Memorial Day holiday, encouraging people to mark the special day, but to do it in groups of 10 or fewer people. Kenneth, Mona. Megan, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.